Smiling Friends Season 2. Um, I really enjoyed Season 1, and now that it is going to be on Max, uh, every other, not every other, every Monday, I'm uh, going to be talking about the episodes as they release on Max. Now, um, I'm going to be re reviewing Episodes 1 through 2. I know the Gwimbley episode technically released on April Fool's, but I don't have cable, so I wasn't able to watch that episode. So I only got to watch it now, so this is my first time watching it and reviewing the episode. Um, I like the Gwimbley episode. I thought it was really funny. I, I, people really enjoy it because, if you don't know, Gwimbley apparently is a r real game mascot, which I didn't know, that they just took randomly out of obscurity, brought back for this episode... Just to have, be funny and goofy with it. It's, it's kind of bizarre. But also kind of awesome. And yeah. And then. Uh, the second episode. I enjoyed but it wasn't one of my favorite episodes. It felt kind of off to me. Because. Like it was like. It was like a election episode. With like a president being incompetent. And like I enjoyed all that. And it was definitely funny. But considering we've actually had that in real life now, I feel like satires like this that aren't really making a point aren't so much funny anymore as they're just reminding me how scary reality is. And that kind of makes me sad. But still, there's a lot of funny gags in the episode. It was still funny. And it's still one of the better episodes of the show. And I'm glad this show's back because this show is continuing to do incredibly unique things. has a lot of great humor and weird animation in it. And uh, is an awesome show. So if you've not wa watched Smiling Friends yet, uh, I think there's only like 10 episodes or less on uh, Max. And uh, the first two episodes of season two are on uh, Max. So that's like only like 12 episodes and like 11 minutes each. So pretty easy to watch. Get into. It's awesome. Definitely watch it.